and welcome back to our channel. This is the Bella Scandinavian Beauty. Today I'm going to do a review on my Real Techniques brushes. And I actually only got one set of brushes, unfortunately. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because you kind of have to clean them in between all the videos. And if you make more than one per day, they are really, really amazing, great brushes. And I have the Real Techniques starter set. And you get like this, this kind of casing. Just open it up and in there you got all these beauties. You get the deluxe crease brush, the accent brush, the brow brush, the fine line brush, the shading brush and the base shadow brush. And I love them all. If you watched my videos for a while you, you know I use them quite well. As you can see, some of them even got product on it. I haven't had time to clean them. This is my favorite crease brush when I want to make, yeah, kind of shadow all over or blending. When I want to make a small crease, I take this one. Highlighting, perfect for this one. Brows, of course. Under eyes, this one. I used, yeah, I used whenever. I used it in my Greek Goddess video to put glitters on my bottom lashes. I might do a liner with it, but I don't have any wet liner, so yeah, I don't need it right now, but it's a great brush anyway. But I can't really say that much about it. With all these other brushes, I used damn fine. The only problem I have is with this one is when you're putting shadow on your on top of your crease, you can go into your inner corners. You might get all these kind of marks. The shadow doesn't get everywhere. It works fine here, but in here I get these kind of yeah, like places where it doesn't. It doesn't do look consistent. I would like to see another blending brush though, like something between this one and this one, like a middle brush. But, I mean, these are great, but I would like to have that in my collection as well. And also, another thing I like is that you have extra extra space, so you can put your other brushes in it. So you can just, yeah, take this one with all of your brushes and it, you don't have to have a million different casings to get your brushes there. Other thing I like is that you can turn it and take this little thing and put it beneath. At least that's what I do. And then it stands like this. It's perfect when you need to like dry your brushes or anything but just put them upside down so the water goes down a lot. Up. And I also like it when I do my makeup that it just stands and it's just easy to just take them out and apply and put them in. It's very easy. It's very convenient. So I definitely think that Real Knicks made a real good product here. They are great. So I truly recommend you to get this. I I, I don't regret it at all. Uh, when you talk about the price, I think it's a good price for all these brushes. Where I find it, I find it actually very cheap. If you live in Sweden, you can check out Google Panda. And they always, always give you a good price. So, and I think I got it on sale as well. So I think I, yeah, like $20. I mean, for all those brushes, I think it's, it's a great price. Yeah, and they are cheaper if you don't buy them in Sweden because everything is expensive in Sweden. If something costs $10 in America or in the US or the UK, it will probably cost like $100 here. And if you live in a country like Sweden where everything that comes from another country is expensive as hell, then yeah, just wait till you go go to holiday or vacation and you can yeah, check some real clinics out because they are worth it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked this video, I hope you found it helpful and I will see you soon. Bye!